You guys really thought we were taking the Elantra N today, huh? Unfortunately, we're out here taking the Monster 3 for today. There's nothing wrong with the Elantra N, but I still have to film my exhaust video on it, and we can't be spoiling that today. Oh, it's finally happening, boys. What are we doing today? Uh, well, doing things that are highly against the law in that state. Close enough. <laughs> Damn, we got the E36 looking clean in here. I met the boy. <laughs> no, we, got, we, got, we got all these jack stands right here and an E36, but this is not what's getting worked on today. Uh, not today. We're actually working on the Miata today. We got the exhaust right here. This is what's going on today. Oh, okay, okay. Just a little hey. muffler, right? Nothing too big yet, right? I mean, we have more. This is going to be another day, though. So I do have these also. Uh, but beginning of the Miata, finally. It's been a while. Um, but this will be like the first real mod. The first much, mod right? for the Miata, the bro. Today's the day, bro. Today's the day. Today's the day. It's a little basic. It's my you gotta daily. start. This is the mod that everyone starts with that isn't window tint. So. But it's a daily. I don't want it to be too insane or anything. Yeah. This thing is gonna be the, the actual thing. So, you got this. But, so, but you know. Have a little bit of fun, right? Gotta spice the Miata up a little bit. Let me bring the car in. It's so quiet, it's actually like laughable, right? I know, right? There's <laughs> nothing to it at all right now. We're gonna give it a little something. Yeah. There's just nothing there. I mean, it's stock, so we expect that, but you know. Also, for those of you who've been watching us for forever, this exhaust, you know, it's, it looks a little bit familiar. Right, yeah, it's uh, it's not new or anything like that. It was given to me from someone. Hey, shout out JSR Dad. He sold the Miata a couple of years back, but he did decide to part out some of the good stuff for Robert. So I believe, what did he hook you up with? He hooked you up with this and then an open flash tablet, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, we have so the open flash tablets in my room right now. Um, and like I said, when we get the headers on and everything and some suspension and whatnot, then we'll worry about doing a little tune. That'll be perfect. Maybe some E85, I don't know yet. Let's get to it, should be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna time that. it, I'm gonna time you it. You wanna time it? Just like my uh, side indicator on the GT86 yeah, ended up falling out one. two weeks later. Yeah, there, we did that one quick and it fell out. It's been a while since I've done car work though. I got the, uh, the tech on. shirt on right now. The fuse is actually nice bro. You don't yeah, realize it until you see it without it. No, yeah, right, it, it yeah. adds just a little bit. And now I just need the side pieces and then it's, Perfect. Beginning of July, the weather is pretty nice out. And JSR Cars is filming an exhaust video, bro. That sounds, that sounds like a pretty good summer to me, bro. Hey, they be saying that we talk too fast in the video. They probably do. We got the wood pulled up. We got Xander with the cameo, yo. <laughs> we got the WRX joint. Hey, nobody tells Xander. Nobody tells Xander. I think that we should try to find a WRX, like just an axle back exhaust, and I say that we should hook it up. So any companies out there that make a WRX axle back exhaust, Hit us up. You didn't hear anything. Exhaust. Oh, the exhaust on the oh, video, bro. shit. All right. Hell yeah. Finally. Uh, I blinked for two seconds and the car's already on stands, bro. Our boy's moving. He's quick with it. On a side note, though, I just, I can't wait to get started on stuff for the E36 as well, man. This is going to be, I feel like end of the year. This is going to be sick. Yeah, we'll have some stuff. So we might be doing some other stuff right now, but just wait. We'll get back to our good old E36 content that a lot of you guys really like. A little fun fact. Since we came back, the E36 video was the second best video on our channel. Of course it is. What was the first? <laughs> Elantra end, baby, let's go. Should be only three Wait. hangers, should be too terrible. There's four hangers on this. Wait, there's four? Is the ND2 different? I hope not. <laughs> Bro, that, that sucks. So Roberts is an ND2, JSR dad had an ND1. It should be different. It, it, it really be. should be. So I don't think it really matters that much, it probably doesn't. Yeah, you know, I mean, that exhaust is so much lighter than the stock one, exactly. so. Exactly, so. It doesn't need much to hold it up. That hooks up in the right spot, right? As long as the... Yeah, everything breaks. lines up, so... Okay, we're good. This exhaust is... I don't know exactly how much lighter it is. It is a Goodwin racing exhaust. If you guys want to look up the exact one, you can probably see how much lighter it is, but... Should be a decent bit lighter. We're definitely going to need some WD-40. I don't think I have any. There's just no way. This guy can't be serious. He's definitely serious. Hey, Jake. I'm going to buy a RAV4 hybrid. <laughs> I don't even know this guy anymore, bro. Like, <laughs> what the, what is he doing? Be honest, is that the Corolla replacement? Uh, I was honestly, like, I've been considering the RAV4 just because it's... We lost him. Honestly, bro, I'm kind of glad they stopped to cut him off. Bro's talking about cop and the RAV4. Honestly, the new RAV4s ain't bad, though. They ain't bad. He's a responsible young man now. You gotta oh, respect it. Whoa, 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 you're talking about getting a Ranger? <laughs> Dude, we <laughs> stay losing every time. Ranger. It's a five speed. It's like a grand at work. You copping or what? I want to. Hear me out. Hear me out. You work in the realm of Ford service. Fiesta ST again. Okay. Listen. Does 
doesn't mean that the repairs are free, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's discounted though, bro. Hardly. Think about how much fun you had with the Fiesta ST though. Think about all the videos we had of it shooting flames and then the SD card got corrupted and it ruined the video. So, so think about this. Think about all the fun we had, except I'm 1,200 miles away now. <laughs> <laughs> if you get a Fiesta ST, I will fly out there. But you'd have to live out here, because what's the point of flying out there just for like a couple days? And then what? I'm just stuck with this piece of shit. <laughs> I will keep flying out there. <laughs> then I'm just stuck with a piece of shit for This dude's beefing with his Fiesta ST that uh, he sold years ago. Unfortunately. Oh my, you good? Yeah. Now that one's too big. Okay, let me know if it's just me, guys, but tell me the E36 wouldn't look sick if it was wrapped in red and the roll cage was painted like a white. I don't know. It'd be pretty sick, dude. We, need, we gotta do something with E36, so we're going to. All right. <laughs> Give me the big boy. It's time for the big boy. Hitting the impact of the chrome sockets. Uh, don't do this at home. Or just close your eyes. The auto exhaust have the springs? Yeah. Oh my god, those are oh, so annoying. Well, oh, those are welded right there. I kind of hate the springs though. Do you? Yeah. Hey, this dude's got a Samsung, bro. <laughs> Everyone make fun of him in the comments, please. All right, Robert left his uh, his flathead somewhere, so he's pulling out the next best thing. Okay, a knife, butter knife, bro. This shit ain't gonna work. And I suddenly realized it's a really bad idea. Damn, those Bilstein's looking good though. Yeah, right? All right, we whip in the Mazda. Yo, what the f Bro, dude. Oh, dude. dude. Look no, at that thing, that, bro. Oh, that one too, bro, oh, the dog collection. Dude. That's the row right there. Oh my god, yo, we got the Civic on the wheels, bro. This is a car show. All right, WD-40 is acquired. Same with that fresh fade, bro, yo. The WD-40 is definitely the move. WD-40 always coming in clutch. All right, we're getting it. That's it, drop it, drop it. Yep. Who's gonna carry the boats? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, as you can see here on the stock muffler, we just have these here, uh, which I believe is how come over here. There's nothing. But I mean, these are threaded right here. Like, it's meant to have, yeah. have something like this in there. A little bit of a speed bump. Honestly, it really doesn't look like it's supposed to be like that. <sighs> yeah, you know, I'll put the blame at 50 50. Partly I've never stupid, seen, and then partly I've never seen that before. I've never seen an exhaust like this before, but I started to see that it has something. So. All right, well, W. W. So, progress continues. Right in. Yeah, oh, so yeah. That, that definitely, definitely right our bad, but perfect. Now we get to the fun part. Drop a comment down below what color you guys want to see the E36 get wrapped. All right, this guy's rambling about doing stuff the right way, saying he's going to torque down everything to spec. And then he says he can't find his $400 snap-on torque wrench. All right, whatever, we don't need it. <laughs> All right, time to swap out these little bushings. Put three out of the four on that exhaust, because apparently that one only has three. Three hangers. That's what I call weight reduction right there. How's the hanger placement looking down there? I don't know. I have it stuck on something right now, I'm going to be <laughs> honest. Oh, I have it stuck on a hanger. Oh, nice. <laughs> now it's stuck in there. This thing's gonna sound so good, dude. I remember hearing this back in the day, and it was easily one of the best Miata exhausts. Final. Final tip placement, pretty good. Looks pretty good. Obviously, it looked a little bit better if it was a dual tip, but for some reason, this exhaust model at the time only came in single, but. And you know what? I didn't pay for it, so I can't yeah. really complain too much. Free you know exhaust, what I mean? bro. We'll take that. But in the meantime, we are also trying to allocate an aftermarket exhaust for Brandon's RF. So if anyone, any company out there wants to sponsor a video for that, hit us up. But in the meantime, this will do. Bro just told me he's a little bit nervous. You've been exhaustless for how long? Three years. Okay. Dude, he hasn't had, he hasn't driven like a car from exhaust for like three years. I've been driving E36 every so often, but. Yeah, but. Oh yeah. That's got some volume Let's to it. Let's do it, right? Let's go. Time to back her out now. Take it for a little test break. Cool. Sounds pretty good. It's crazy. Three years without an exhaust, bro. I don't know how this man did it. <laughs> oh. Not bad. 
you have to rip it top down. You have to. You're ripping it top down. You have to rip it top down. That's that's the rules, bro. You're in a Miata. Oh, it's got a little bit. Oh yeah, it's got. If there's one thing I remember, this thing screams top end. Does it really? It does. Ooh, we got a little. Ooh. Perfect, dude. Perfect noise level, dude. This is the California spec me on right, exhaust right, right, right here, bro. Is. Look at all this traffic, bro. It's ridiculous. Ooh, Ooh you like that? Get nice and snappy with the down snappy. Okay. Look at this traffic, dude. This is ridiculous. This is horrible. Chant the freeway? Go on the freeway. Rip it on the freeway. Screw it. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Still a little freeway. There's like no drone whatsoever. We also have a top down, so we yeah, we did have top down. So <laughs> more wind noise than the cheated crowd. a little bit, but what's going on over there? What's going on over there? Yo, little bouncing off the buildings right there. It seems like every other video I'm riding top down in the Miata, bro. Right, it's yours or Brandon's. <laughs> the top end is really cool to hear though, after hearing it on an ND1, and now with the higher red line on the yeah. ND2, it's actually really sick. My brakes squeak a little bit. Yeah. Oh, so crispy, dude. That's just the best. I know, dude. it sounds good. Top end's so good, yeah. dude. The top end is just perfect. Man. I think it's perfect. I think it's the perfect For a daily, volume, right? Yeah. For a daily, it's pretty good perfect for a daily Miata in California. It's got like the perfect amount of volume without like probably getting pulled over to be honest. But anyways, overall pretty successful day. Nothing too crazy. Miata's making some moves bro. It's only a matter of time, man. It's only a matter of time for both of these. Be sure to stay tuned for some 36 content. Uh, I know I've been saying a bunch that's coming soon. It is coming soon. We got some plans for it, all right? We got some plans. But anyways, appreciate you guys clicking on today's video. And as always, we'll be back at it again with another banger. Appreciate you guys. Catch you guys in the next video.